right, hello newbies. This is just a little horrible tutorial because this is like my fifth time trying this. <laughs> uh, here's our spreadsheet. These yellow portions at the top and throughout the whole thing um, represent our sales for the week. And then we have your name, find your name. Um, you'll type the quantity here and your pricing will show up on the side. I'm going to start with a super easy one, which is the top one, Granny Smith apples. You can see that there's 100 count in a case and that the price is $53. Don't worry about this red. Somebody's working on it right now. Uh, so I'm going to use a calculator. It's helpful in the beginning. Uh, plus, I'm not good at math. So we're going to do the price, which was $53, divided by the quantity, which was 100. And this number is awesome. 53 cents. We know that one apple is 53 cents and I'm digging that price. So I want um, 20. So we're going to do the number that you desire, do the quantity, whatever you want, um, divided by the quantity provided, which was 100 count. So I want 20 apples. 0.2 is my answer. So here in the quantity, we're just going to do 0.2. And that's what I want. So my computer's super slow and the price will show up. 10 bucks for 20 apples. I'm happy with that. So we got the pink lady apples over here. And you can see that there's 12 bags at three pounds each and for the price of $50. So we kind of ignore that three pounds. It can, it can be a little bit confusing, but we're gonna still use the 12 like we did with the 100. That's the quantity is 12. So we're gonna do price, um, which was $50, divided by 12, which was the quantity. And so they're $4.17. We always need to round up, um, or you can go like into the third digit, which is fine too, 1667. I guess we're gonna get in the habit of um, going three decimal points over. So let's do, um, I want one bag. So then we're gonna do the desire, the number desired, which I want one bag, divided by the quantity, which was 12. So our answer is gonna be 0 0.0833. Now it's kind of like the uglier number I was referring to, but still not difficult. So 417, easy. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that I think is a little bit difficult. So here, it's still like the same thing. Um, you're gonna use 12 as your quantity ignore that the white one pint. We know that these sweet peppers are going to come in a pint. That's all that's telling us basically. So things like yams, um, when they just come in pounds like that, we're not really knowing how many we're gonna get. Uh, number one yams, I think are the smaller ones. I could be wrong. And I know that Melissa will probably yell at me but she always knows that info. So try to make a good rounded out number for things like that. Um, I don't think ordering one pound of yams is, is awesome, but it's doable, I guess. So let's, um, 40 pounds for 58 bucks. Let's do, uh, let's find the price of one pound. So we're going to take the price, which was 58, and divide that by the quantity, which was 40 pounds. So it's $1.45 a pound. Not too bad. I'm going to order four pounds. So I'm going to do the number I desire, four pounds, divided by the quantity, which was 40 pounds. Well, that's a nice little number. So 0.1 price, 
price, 580. Okay, that is the basics. Not too difficult. Um, use a calculator if you're not fantastic with math. And just remember with our quantities, we wanna go out um, three decimal points. So any more questions, go ahead and send me a message. Melissa, Heather will be available for you. Thanks for watching my video. <laughs>